welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Sharna today I'm going to share with you my this look this is my go-to glam look I have created this gorgeous eye look which is considered to me as a glam look so yeah I have used all full coverage product from foundation concealer everything full coverage to make this glam look so yeah keep on watching hi so whenever i do my full face full glam or with full coverage everything i use the most moisturizing product so it keeps my skin hydrate all the day for that i'm taking the clinic dramatically different moisturizing lotion i'm taking this on my hand first then i am putting all over my face also on my neck because I am going to touch up there too so this one is really so this one is really hydrating and as you can see it also brightens up like whenever you put this on your face you can actually feel like it will have a grip which will hold your makeup with your face so today I'm going with the color corrector because I'm doing the full glam or full face with full coverage to make it really uh, full coverage and you know spotless I need to color correct where I need correction then I'm taking the damp beauty blender and I'm taking this part to to blend this out because I'm I'm gonna use this part to use for foundation so I have few spots here and there. I'm going to cover them up. And after that, I'm taking the professional face primer from Benefit. I don't have pores all over my face, but I only have pores, visible pores here. I'll leave this part of my face. I'm actually pressing it in my skin. It is really a good primer. I don't know if you can see it really minimized my pores. And for today's look, I am taking the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. This is medium to full coverage foundation. So I'm taking on my hand and placing on my face. The first time I used this one, I was like shocked that like it actually worked like magic it really made my all the blemish all the spot and dark circle go away it already made my skin so flawless it does not feel happy it does not feel cakey to make my skin a tint of glowy i am using this l'oreal paris true match lumi glow lotion uh, so i'm taking this amount i'm taking this and putting here some glow I'm putting it there and I am blending it and for eye brow I am taking the Milani dark brown brow pomade and you know this is my most favorite one to work on my eyebrow I'm taking this brush this is I guess this is from elf first I'm going to work with my outer part so my brows are done as you can see as we are doing full glam today i am going to take this brow bar this one here is a brow gel to set the brows today i'm going to set up my brows so it does not move then i'm taking the Tarte shape tape concealer and i am putting it on my lid to blend all this over my eyelid and then i'm making sure it's it's not cakey it does not crease so for today's look, I am using this Morphe Fierce by Nature palette and I am taking this brush from Real Technique and I am taking this shade to work on my eyelid. This will work as a transition color. Always pick a transition color which is um, close to your skin color. I am taking this up to my brow bone and I am doing the same for my other eye. And then I am taking this shade from here and I am putting it right here and now I'm going to take this color from here and I am going to put this right here and then again I'm taking this color from here and this will be the color for our outer corner that's why I am taking the deepest shade and I'm taking this brush to blend it more precisely with the other color so there is no harsh line so as you can see the main key to the most precise look or you can say defined look with eyeshadows is to blend blend and 
blend. Then I'm taking this shade, this green shade. So as you can see, I have put the green right over here for my both eyes. And now I'm going to take the brush I used before and I'm gonna smudge the harsh line from here so it looks really blended. And I'm going to take this brush and I'm taking the product from here to make the wing a sharp line. And if you want, you can go ahead with this brush and you can make the line more straight. So my eyeliner is done. I am taking the Maybelline Big Shot Mascara and I'm going to be back with my eyelash on. I'm back with my eyelash on. It really makes a huge difference to the eye. So now I'm going to take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm going to put this under my eye area. And as you know, it's a full coverage concealer. I don't really use too much. I put concealer here when, whenever I do my bronzer. It really gives me the shape I want. Blend it out nicely. And as you can see, it really brightens up my under eye area really well. And now I'm taking the Flawless Control Cream, but it works for me. I'm thinking of buying the cream control from Huda Beauty. I have seen many great reviews about it. So after putting the contour cream, I'm going with the concealer again. And I'm taking small amount in my finger and I'm making a line here. I want to bright up this part of my nose. And I'm going over with the glow lotion again. I have the glow going on. And now it's time for powder. And again, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me. I really don't use so much powder. That's why I don't really buy so many powders. You, I think you have seen me using this powder so many times. So I'm just going to do it. And today, as you can see, I'm actually, I'm actually baking. I'm also putting this under my eye to set up the concealer i used and i'm not going to keep it for so long again i'm taking the wet and wild bronzer and then i am taking the blush from maybelline fit me you need to smile when you do that and i'm taking this brush from real technique for the full coverage look i was thinking of putting my most favorite highlighter this is from becca as you can see how vibrant this is. This is why I really like boxy charms because you know if I like I didn't know that a highlighter like this existed before boxy charms sent me this. I am taking this up to my brow bone and for the lip I am taking this Odair lip liner. What I don't like about these pencils I have to you know take my sharpener with me always and sometimes I don't even remember that's why I really like the Colourpop lip pencil. I am taking lipstick from Smashbox. This is their liquid lipstick. I am taking the lip gloss from Colourpop so it looks kind of glowy because I have put matte on my eyes today so I am going for the glowy lip. So now for my lower lash line I am going to take the same shade and I am going to pat this hair and then I am going to take the same green shade and pair right here with the other color this is how it looks like from close up then i'm going to take the green again and i'm going to find that in the inner corner of my eye so this is the final look i'm going to finish it with the milani make it dewy setting spray and then i'm going to add this it really sinks in. So yeah, this is the final look. I hope everyone likes it.